Hello everyone. So I welcome everybody back for our, our weekly Sunday session uh, with Active Fashion Basketball Academy. So today we actually invited another Singapore Slingers player. So let's welcome him to give everybody a short introduction about himself. Hello everyone. I'm Shi from the Singapore Slingers. Um, I'm 20 this year and it's currently my second year in the Slingers development team. And I'm also actually, I played a power forward position and I'm actually also a student athlete. I'm currently year three in Niam Polytechnic. Oh. Yep, that's, that's a great introduction. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so All right. I'll be leading the warm up first, Siri, then you'll be taking over the entire session. Okay? Yep, cool. So, cool. ready? Yeah, let's get up. Okay, so our uh, first drill, let's go for high knees. Okay, high knees, high knees, high knees. Okay, so ready, Siri? Three, yep. two, one, and go. Okay, try to leave our legs. Okay, go slow, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so this is how it looks like on side two. And five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so next, let's go on, back kick, back kick. Bring your heels towards your back. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Ten seconds. And five, four, three, two, one and relax. Okay, next. Let's look on. Let's let's look on. Jumping jacks with toe touches. So our starting position will be feet close together, and we'll get into a squat position and touch the floor. Okay. So we'll go for ten seconds. We'll go for ten reps instead. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, it's good. Okay. Okay. Next, let's work on high kicks, stationary high kicks. So this is how it looks like. So we're gonna go alternate. Bring our legs across and touch your alternate uh, uh, the other hand. Okay. So right, right leg, left hand. Ready? And go. Ten reps. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax. So next, we'll be going for our groin stretch. Okay, today we'll be using a lot of legs. Okay, then we'll end with a core. So ready? Let's go for groin stretch. So this is how it looks like. Okay, elbows. On our legs. Okay, and come stretch it out. Open out our legs. You'll feel the stretch on our groin. Yep. Okay. Last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, next, let's work on our hamstring stretch. So we will standing. You're going to bring your right leg forward and touch your toe. So straighten your right leg and touch your toe. Okay, ready? And go. Let's go for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and switch. Okay, let's go to our left leg now. Ready? And go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. So next, we'll be, we will be stretching our quads. Okay, so these are our quads. And we'll, if you can't balance, you can pull on something. And try to start from the side build. Okay, ready? And yep. go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And switch to your left leg now. Okay, and 10, oh, that's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one, and relax. All 
Right. Okay, where to go? Where to go? So now that's all, all right. for my warm up. So now, before we start our 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 workout, so I want you guys to grab a quick drink, then we'll move our pad hand over to you. All right. Okay, so well guys have some drinks, I'll talk you through what we are gonna do today. So we are gonna go through some plyometrics exercises, which requires a lot of jump, which involves a lot of jumping, and it requires a lot of explosiveness, um, speed, and also strength in these drills that are we that we're gonna do. So, yep. Yeah. So basically, all this, all this, uh, this plyometrics is very very essential. It will help us to improve our performance for our basketball game. Okay, so now, yep. ready? I'm ready. Yep. Three, let's go. Yeah, let's go. So, I want you guys to have a ball with you. Yeah. That's great. All right, for the first exercise, we are going to do static squat hold. Basically, we are going to place our feet shoulder width apart and in a half squat position. And we are going to hold in this position for about 20 seconds. Okay. So we are gonna start in three seconds. In three. So Coach Q, you do the timing timer, okay? Okay. Yeah. So in and three. Go. Let's go. Yup, get into this position. Maintain a good posture. Very good. Last ten seconds. Last five, four, three, two. And one, and relax. Okay. So, this drill really works on our muscle endurance. So, we are going to do something similar on our next drill, which is also static host, uh, static score, uh, squat hole. But, however, this time we are going to do, do it with toe taps. So, try not to elevate your, your body. Maintain in a half squat position, but doing toe taps. So, First of all, we will start on our right leg, okay? And then we will switch over later on. So, Coach Q, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's start. In three, so for this, we're going to do 10 reps, okay? 10 toe taps, okay? In three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and relax. Okay, so this drill actually targets our quads, our hamstring, our glutes, and it actually activates our muscles. So for the it activate our muscles for the exercises later on. Alright. So now we'll switch to our left leg. Same thing in a half squat position and do the toe tap with your right leg, okay? Is that all right? Yep. Okay. We'll start in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then relax. Actually, after this, doing this drill, you will feel a bit of uh, burning sensation on your quads and your hamstrings. And that's what, how you're supposed to feel. Okay, so next drill. We are going to do the same thing in the static hold squat. But this time, we will bring our... We will start our right leg uh, being stationary. So we will bring our left leg across our back, to the back of our right leg, across to the back of our right leg in this manner and bring it back. In yep. this manner and bring it back. So, uh, try not to elevate your body too much and stay in the half squat position, all right? Okay. Yeah, ready. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, yeah, control, control. three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and ten. All right. Yes. Okay, so now we will switch over to our left leg. Left leg being the stationary leg, and our right leg will bring across to the back of our, our left leg like this. So maintain, maintain the half squat position. All right. So yeah. let's start. Let's start in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So we are now um, done on our muscle activation. So uh, these exercises is re to really activate your muscles, to warm up our muscles uh, for the exercises, the jumping exercises later on. All right, so now I'll bring you through the first plyometric exercise, which is base a very basic front and back jumping. All right, Coach Q? <laughs> Yep, I'm good. All right, let's go. So I'll do a demonstration on how this drill is done. Basically, it's very simple. You just have to jump in a forward and backward motion and try to land on the ball of your foot and land softly. So it's about once you land on the floor, try to bounce, try to react quickly. So not to spend too much time on the ground. All right. All right, Coach Q, so you go for ready? 20 seconds. Yeah. You go for 20 seconds for this drill. Of your timer. All right. In three, two, one, and start. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Last <laughs> ten. Keep going. Put on your legs. And five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right. Okay. So in the next drill, what we'll do is um, pogo jumps. All right. In for pogo jumps, it's really similar as this forward and backward jumping, but instead, we'll be just jumping vert vertically up and down. So this is how it's done. So you uh, will realize that. So you will realize that in this drill you don't have to really squat very low, but just slightly bend your knees when you land, and land on the ball of your foot, and jump jump right back up. All right. So in this drill we will do for twenty seconds too. All right, Coach Q. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm good. All right. Let's go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and relax. Yep. Feeling good? Now we'll go on to a more advanced jumping, which is called the tuck jumps. All right. In this tuck jumps, we'll hold the ball at our chest. So, what we'll be doing is, we'll be jumping. But, however, in this exercise, we'll need to bring our knees as high as possible, as close to our chest. So, this is how it's done. All right. So, try to land as soft as possible and jump as high as possible. The best is to bring your knee touching your chest. And, yep. Yeah, I mean, for those who, those, those who can't do it, do it at, the, uh, at the first time, you guys can watch me because uh, I'll be showing a pause, like a pause. So, but it's a, it's a small little jump before I get into a tuck jump. Okay? So, for those who can't do it, I'll be showing you on the side view. Okay? So, let's go. All right. So, 
Shall we start, Coach Q? Yeah, let's go. All right, so we'll be doing this for 30 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In three, two, one, and let's go. good yeah i'm feeling awesome all right okay okay so before we move on to our next drill you might have one to have some water has few seeps of water and meanwhile i'll explain to you what the next drill is about okay so in the next drill you will need your pair of slippers cones or your markers okay so get get them ready okay so basically i'll teach you how to set them up and you have to set them apart uh in a half in a squat position slightly further apart than a squat position and place them apart all right is that okay? Yep. Okay. So, in this drill, um, we are going to work on our vertical jumps, our change of direction jumping. So, we will need to have a ball with us. Okay. First of all, start on your left leg and uh, balance on one leg. So, we will start on our left leg. So what's next is we are going to jump in between the pair of the shoes. So we're going to jump landing on two legs in between the shoes in an athletic stance. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. So once again, so once I land, I'm going to explode up to my ears. Once I land again, I have to go to my right on a single foot. All right. And then we'll go back to, to that direction, doing the same thing all over. So in total, we will be going to do this for 10 reps. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm okay. So in total, we'll be doing 10 vertical jumps. All right, let's start. Okay. Okay, push are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, in three, Two, one, let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's a pretty tiring exercise, but that's the last plyometric exercise that we're going to do. And now we'll have a sip of water before we advance into our core exercises. Okay. So the first core exercises, the core, first core exercise that we're gonna do is actually high plank. How it's gonna be done is actually, you have to be in a push up position. Okay, placing your feet at the ball, placing your feet on top of the ball. All right, so yeah, just like this. Okay, so yeah. we'll be holding in this position for about 20 seconds, right? Coach Q will do the timing, all right? Okay, so everybody follow okay. me. Get into the position first. 
Okay. And three, two, one, and go. Yeah, try to try to balance, control your core, maintain your flat back. Try yeah, not try going, to maintain a flat. Try to maintain a flat body posture. Well, Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. With your right. sleeve. Yep. Okay. Now we'll move on to our second core exercise. And what will it be is our figure eight crunches. How it's done? All right. Basically, you'll be in a crunches position. Crunches position, doing figure eight through your legs, like this in this position. So in this exercise, you will feel the contraction of your core, and you will feel the burn. But it's alright. It means you are gonna work on the core. Okay. So same thing. We are gonna do this for 20, 20 seconds. Right, Coach Q. Yep. Right. All right. Shall we start? Okay. All get right. Get into position. Three, a, two, one, and go. Let's go. You get it? Do as much as you can. Do as much as you can. It's a quick 20 seconds. Do as quick as you can, as fast as you can. Push yourself, make a good position. Okay, last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, Coach Q, good job. Thanks now, a lot. <laughs> Now we'll do it. We'll do our last exercise of the day. It's gonna be difficult. It's called V Man. So basically, in this, in this exercise, you'll lie straight flat down. All right, placing your the ball at your hand. So go lie lying flat down. Bring the ball up and pass it to your leg. And bring it up and pass it back to your hand. So yep. is that okay? We'll be doing this for 10 reps. All okay. right. It's the last exercise. Come on, let's push it. Yeah, let's push it. Okay, let's yeah. go. When you're ready, okay. let's go for 10 reps. Get to position. Right. Three, two, one, and go. Ooh. Ooh. I'm better at it. Three. One. Two. Six. Oh, I get it, man. Get it, man. All right. Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one let's more. go, Coach Q. Come on, let's go, rep. Coach Q. Yeah, one more. Rep. All right. Yeah. Nice one, Coach Q. Good job. Okay. Good job. All right. How do you feel about the exercises today? Well, it's all good. It's all good. I felt it. All right. What is workout? Is a is a is a pretty good uh focus on our jumping exercises and how we end on on a on a core exercises. I think it was good and at the start of the session we work on muscle activation. Okay, so right. muscle activation I think is a is a pretty good way to warm up your your specific muscles to prepare certain movement like jumping. Okay, and do you yep. have any thoughts about this? So today we mainly go through plyometric exercises and core exercises. These is uh, exercises requires, as I said, requires explosiveness, uh, quickness, strength. So these elements really is important in our basketball game. So the more we work on, the faster we improve on our game, and then we can proceed on to the other things like ball handling. Once our core work is done, all right. So this is our like to condition our body for the game. Yeah. Yeah, like what I said, we only, we only got less than 30 minutes to showcase uh yeah. the, the workout session. So all these sessions, I mean all these workout drills, all, uh, you can do it by yourself, like maybe give yourself uh, the same sequence, maybe about three sets to five sets, if you can. Okay, because these don't require you to dribble the ball or bounce the ball. Okay, so yeah. basically you can do it at home at, at your own comfort time. Okay? Right. Then now, now let's go for your own stretch down. Then I will use this time to give uh three for a QA session. I love this segment the most. Yeah. You ready or not? Are you ready, Sri? Like, 
I'm excited for what you're going to ask me. <laughs> Alright, okay. bring it on. So, the first question I, I always like to ask players, okay? So, like, how do you start up playing basketball? Okay. Yeah. Alright, this question, okay. So, it's pretty simple, nothing much. Nothing very surprising. It's just that I started basketball when I was 13, where I need to choose a CCA. It's compulsory. So it was in secondary one. So I was uh, contemplating whether to choose badminton or basketball. Of course, last time my idol is actually Lee Chong Wei. So, but what's funny is that I went to the basketball trial. The first CC I went to is the basketball trial. And they straight away selected me because I was tall. So um, that's how I got to get. So that's how I started basketball. And I started to. Um, started to play inter school games, uh, club competitions, club leagues, local leagues, and that's how I'm. I landed in Slingers, and you know. So actually, yeah. you started playing when you were in secondary school. Yep, secondary one. Second one. So which uh, secondary school are you from? I'm from Ishville Secondary in Pongo. Ishville. Yep. Yeah, I think I think the, uh, at the time I was still a referee. Uh, I was, I think I, I, I did official uh, H2 game. Oh, really? I don't know whether you are in or not. Also, no, I think so I, I, I graduated. Old. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very All good. Right. So, so, next question. This, this is going to uh, relate to the Singapore Singers. Okay, so right. how, was, how was your experience to play for the Singapore Singers yeah, and to be in a development team? All right, so first of all, as a local kid, knowing, do not know how, uh, I do not know how the basketball scene in the Slingers looks like, but once I got in, it was an eye opener. Of course, the professional setup was different. Like the platform, the standard, the intensity of the game is totally different. It's really hard to adapt for me at a, uh, until now. It's still really hard to adapt because in this game, you, in Slingers, you gotta play against. People that are much older than you, much ex more experienced than you, and they are all top players from Singapore. And furthermore, we we still gotta compete with imports during our trainings. So, um, no doubt they have a better skill level than us. So, we are gonna give more than hundred percent to defend them and everything. So, I think this Slingers development program is really a a good initiative for. Young young people like me to expose to a high level of basketball and it's really a good um exposure for me and a good platform for locals to showcase their talents. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think that, that was that was, a, that was a very 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 good sharing. So like what I, what right. I told, like what I shared the last time when I when I first uh get into a single team, it was that it was like an eye opener. You know, I think I I did share with you like uh. We, it was the last year, my first year, it was the last year Slingers played in a Singapore Indoor Stadium. So, hey, when right. I the first thing I got into the locker room, it was like, wow. It's like, we got, we got our own cub cubicle. So, it's like NBA, you know, like, you got your own space. And I think it was awesome. The first thing I got, wow, that's amazing, you know. Yeah. I think, I think it's, it was a very, very, very good experience during my right. playing time. Yeah. Okay, so, I think every, yeah. Question. So the next question, so you you are still studying. So from what I know, you are still studying. You are you are in Nian Poly right now. Okay, so right. how how is it like to cope uh cope with your studies while you are training every every day? You know, mm, basically I think it's much more on how you prioritize your time, how you plan out your plan out your timetable, your schedule, your day to day schedule, and lastly, all this is have to be, it's not made possible if you don't make any sacrifices. So you got to prioritize what is most, most important to you in the stage of time. Like for me, it's basketball, um, studies and family. So I don't really got time to hang out with my friends like what my age, the people of my age will do. So it's really training basketball and sleep, training basketball and sleep while I'm in, in season. So um, it's really, all sacrificing your youth, you, but at some time you still can enjoy on your off days, 
But I think what you really need to do is commit to what you are doing and give a hundred percent at what you are doing. So yeah, that's how I cope with my time in how I cope with my time in polys and slingers. Well, that's that's a that's a very 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 good sharing to to the to the youth out there who who one day I mean who dream to be a to be an athlete like you you know like especially like a professionals playing for the Singapore Slingers. Okay, so even you are not in a in the basketball, it can apply to all sports. So Correct. if you want to be good at something, you gotta give sacrifices like what you say. Okay, you gotta give sacrifices, you gotta know how to prioritize what what you want in life. So if mm-hmm. you want to you, if you choose to go go on to this path, if you really want this path, pursue it. Okay? So yeah. have your schedule right, prioritize it correctly. Okay? Know why it's right, why it's wrong. Okay, so block out those negativity. So you gotta always stay focused in what you are doing, okay? Then I think yeah. that, that was a that was a very 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 good sharing, okay? Thank so, you, Coach Kill. Of course, okay. So uh, so for the last last question, okay, for the last question, right. do, you, do you have anything okay. that you want to share with the youth out there, or the kids want to tell them anything? You know, um, I think it's focus. Um, you gotta. Go pursue what you are, what you dream for. So doesn't matter if other people tell you if you cannot or this thing have no future or what. So what you have to do is you have to really know what you are doing, and commit fully when you when you decide to do something. So for example, studies you gotta pay attention in class and everything, and do a homework for basketball. You gonna go attend trainings, and also um all the all the little things that you got to do to perfect your life, like what you. But most importantly, you need discipline. Yeah, so you can't procrastinate too much, and discipline is the most important thing. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I mean yeah, that's a that's a good. Like discipline, discipline is the most important. You know, yeah. Like, like what I what I, what I say just now, block out all those negative. If you don't let other people pull you down, okay. If you know what you want, pursue it. Okay, then there will be times that there will be ups and downs. So it's how when you are, you are when you are at the down, when you are at the bottom, okay, when you are at the bottom, it's how you're gonna pick yourself up. Okay, so you're gonna face the you're gonna face the fact that this a this a reality. Okay, yeah. So always think positive and don't give up easily, even if you are at the rock bottom. Okay, correct. So yeah. lastly, I would like to thank every everyone. Okay, I would like to thank everyone for joining us for this uh, workout session. So, and keep working hard and always stay safe, stay healthy, and remember to wash your hand after the session. Okay? All right. And see you, see you, see everyone soon. Okay, see you guys. Take care. Thank you. All see right. You. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank yeah. you.